Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 9th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what is going on for you at this time. And uh, yeah, very interesting. You start off with the King, uh, no, Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds says, to overcome your anxieties, to overcome your worries and fears at this time. It says you could be worrying about things that you don't need to worry about. Uh, but this card is also a positive card. It can definitely say more money is coming in, more money-making opportunities are coming in for you. And it can also say that you will be hearing messages about money and or money-making opportunities coming in for you at this time. Uh, so again, it's a great card for messages coming in. Next, you have the Six of Spades. A lot of Sixes coming up this week. Uh, you're the only sign, I think, that's had the Six of Spades. Great card for seeing improvements. It's basically a card that just says you are seeing improvements. You are seeing momentum. You are seeing things pick up. You are seeing things getting better, uh, basically, at this time. So I do think that it's a very good card for that. Very good card for karma, karmic situations, and things like that. I also think it's a card that says chase the small improvements. It's like a card that says, you know, there are little tiny things improving. And it says make sure to pay attention to those small improvements and also look for more small improvements as well. Once you make one, then there could be another one and more and more and more. And before you know it, you're making tons of improvements and you're feeling a lot better. So uh, definitely a good card for kind of uh, looking at things to improve your life and also finding those small improvements as well. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Spades at bigger improvements. This is a card of existing, existing problems being resolved. It's kind of like a card of fortune after difficulty. So I really like to see this card for you as well. It can definitely represent endings, things coming to an end uh, but these are things that need to come to an end i actually want to look at your bottom card as well um, and we'll talk about that in a minute but uh, definitely a card that can represent changes and uh, needing to uh, you know kind of end things in some way Next, you have the Three of Spades. I would say just be careful of your health this week. This isn't a bad card. It doesn't say something bad is going to happen, but it, it definitely says, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, make sure not to get sick at this time and, you know, kind of uh, take care of your health as well, basically. So uh, that's what I would say about this card as well. Next, Five of Diamonds says, just do it. And this is my just do it card. It's a card that says, just get started on something that you want to start at this time. Uh, definitely a card to think about that for a uh, great card for starting anything new, even relationships, um, but also great for money. Um, even if you're retired, a great card for, um, you know, investments and finding investments and all this other stuff. It's also a great card for just finding money in general. Um, that doesn't mean that you like walk around and you find it on the ground, um, but it does mean that if you need money for something, that it could be there in the form of a loan, insurance, uh, um, you know, pretty much anything you just or a friend, you just have to kind of go and find it, so to speak. But mostly a card of starting new things. And then finally, oh, actually not finally, but your last card here on the spread is the King of Hearts, a card of returns, things returning to you. Uh, also a great card of love, definitely, and it can represent more love coming in. And it can also represent somebody who's very kind to you. Uh, it could be male, female, whatever. Like I said, I don't attach sex to my card, so it could just be pretty much anybody kind of coming into your life to help you in some way uh, or some person that you look up to. I always say kings are people we look up to. Um, you know, it could be, like I said, it could be anybody. It could be your mother. It, you know, it could be anybody in your life. It's just somebody who you look up to, who you kind of think is an authority to you in some way. Uh, and then finally here, your bottom card I wanted to take a look at for some reason. It's the Joker. Um, so again, I think it'll be a pretty busy week for you. Um, but again, I, I'd be chasing improvements. I feel like that's like the major theme of your week is to uh, look for improvements and then just keep creating more improvements any way you can. And again, I think by the end of the week, you'll feel amazing. Uh, so that's what I would tell you to do this week. Looks good. Uh, so thank you for watching and enjoy your week.